All right, so for this video, well, today is a special video for Khan Academy. It's um, it's called a 10 minute math lesson. Yes, I am Khan and uh, my voice might sound a little bit different, but that's because I'm really sick. All right, but I thought I better go for this video and all right let's get to a 10 minute math lesson algebra review well let's keep it less than 10 minutes all right that's our goal whoa all right let's get to our question right here solve for x given a is 1.5 b is 10 c is minus 102.9 and well we're given some equation over here all right so you know what you see this x squared term we're gonna have like we want to solve you know our goal is to get something like x squared is equal to some number so that way we can solve for x by taking the square root of both sides all right so that's you know that's what my kind of thinking is for that so how do we do that so well so x squared is in the denominator here so we need to get that out of there so how on how do we get x squared out of the denominator well what if we multiply both sides you know, by the denominator, the whole term x squared plus a plus b squared plus c cubed. What happens there? So we're here. We're multiplying both sides by the denominator of the equation. It doesn't matter. It could be on the right hand side or left hand side. It could be over here. We're going to multiply both sides. All right. So it's that. Well, what happens here is that these cancel out because that term is just one. All right. It would be like saying nine divided by nine. It, th these, this is a number. This is a number. It's it's just one okay so now we're here so 2.5 is equal to 100 times that now we could do a couple of things at this point but i'm just going to go with this way we could divide both sides by 100 right so in other words multiply both sides by 1 over 100 so that way the 100 goes away so we can get x squared by itself so we're here we multiply both sides by 1 over 100 and that gives, so looking at the left-hand side, we multiply that by 1 over 100. It's that. And then multiply the right-hand side by 1 over 100, and it's this. All right? So now we're looking at, at this, this term right here. This is just some number. All right? So we can add that term to both sides. All right? And the reason for it is to get x squared all by itself. Isolate it. So we're going to add both that to both sides. We're going to take that number and we're going to add it to both sides. Because this is just some number over here. I put the parentheses down just to uh, denote that it is some number. So we add it to both sides. And, well, that's nice. That becomes just zero. Over here, those terms just cancel. So that's just zero. So that goes away. So now we're stuck with here. So 0 0.025 minus a, the quantity a plus b squared plus c cubed is equal to x squared, all right? So now what we do is we, we rewrite our equation over here, and we specifically, we denote it, I like to denote it with these parentheses over here to make sure we're taking our terms and we're plugging in them in correctly, you know, by substitution. We're plugging in 1.5 for a, we're plugging in 10 for b, we're plugging in minus 102.9 for c. And we're doing, and we're cubing that C term, so we're cubing that whole thing. So we're, I'm putting on my parentheses around there to specifically denote that we're taking the one, the minus 102.9, and we're cubing that term. All right. So our equation here becomes this. All right. Now we take the square root of this side, and we take the square root of that side, and well, we get so we take the square root of these things, and then look over here. We we'll make sure our numbers are all good. And we do that on use Google, and there's our friendly calculator down here, and it's that. All right, so there's x. Oh, there's our solution right there. Beautiful, isn't it? That is way too long. All right, that thing is so much work. We want to cut this thing in half. All right, we want to cut this solution in half. That is way too long. Too much work. All right, this was good to go through just to show how it's done, but we want to cut the thing in half. All right, let's pitch that. Well, let's see what's important, okay? Let's start over. Let's start way back from the top. All right, we want to solve for x given a is 1.5, b is 10. Same thing. 
Um, 2.5 over that quantity is equal to 100. All right. We want to solve for x. All right. So this is the solution. This is how I wrote it. Okay. So we take this equation. We write it. We rewrite re, re it down here. So well, we know this holds true. Okay. We multiply the denominator by both sides by the whole the we take the denominator and we multiply it by both sides of the equation so we figure this is over here and the reason to do it is to get our x squared term alone all right to isolate it so then we're over that's an effort to get the x squared term out of the denominator okay let's i'm going to take that back it's to get the x squared term out of the denominator so we're now we're here so then we divide both sides of the equation by 100 and now we're here okay and then we subtract this quantity from both sides of the equation and now we're here all right so this term goes away and then we're and you have this term over here and so now we're here with our equation so this implies that and we take the square root of both sides of the equation and this is what x is so by substitution, x is approximately 1044. All right, so that's that's the whole essence of, um, you know, writing it as pedantic and as short, it, it makes things much clearer, but I'm trying to show how to kind of, what the thought process is, but when we write it, we wanna write it like this. We wanna make it short, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed this video.